Now is the time to live up to commitments that we have made 20 years ago to protect and manage the deep sea. Life in the deep sea is as diverse as what we see on the land around us. The deep sea is really vast. It's about two thirds of the earth. So we've only explored a very small portion of that. But what we do know so far is that the deep sea is much more fragile than shallow water. The deep sea is incredibly important to not only the ocean itself, but to humanity. It controls and regulates climate. It has absorbed 25% of the carbon that we've put out through emissions and 90% of the excess heat. It is our greatest ally when it comes to combating climate change. Also, deep sea communities are important in the cycling of nutrients. And it is the most diverse place on Earth, so it's the common heritage of biodiversity. It has been estimated that the diversity of deep sea sediments rivals that of tropical rainforests. There are a number of threats that face the deep sea. The historic threat to the deep sea is bottom contact fishing. When bottom trawls move across the seafloor, they usually interact with these vulnerable marine ecosystems. And once you remove the organisms that form the structure, that form the habitat, all of that other biodiversity loses its home. Now we know that climate change has been affecting the deep sea and is going to continue to affect the deep sea. Uh, climate change isn't just changing the surface waters, it's also changing deeper waters. So temperatures are becoming warmer, we're losing oxygen in the deep sea, and also the depth at which organisms can create their calcium carbonate skeletons is becoming shallower because of changes related to ocean acidification. So when we think about why seamounts in the deep sea are providing a healthier ocean ecosystem for all of us, the ocean is highly connected. Organisms are moving throughout the ocean. In order to protect the ocean, many of the things that we need to do to protect the shallow oceans would also help protect the deep oceans. So working to reduce climate change, working to reduce carbon emissions, but for the deep ocean specifically, creating legislation or laws that reduce the amount of bottom contact here that is interacting with the seafloor would have a huge impact on reducing the um, loss of biodiversity in the deep sea. And what we're celebrating this year is 20 years in the evolution of the understanding and the calls for action to protect these deep sea ecosystems from a particularly harmful activity, which is bottom trawl fishing in areas beyond national jurisdiction. And we're looking forward to effectively convince states to follow through and finish the job they agreed to, to halt and reverse biodiversity loss. We are facing some really tough decisions, but the good news is we know the path forward, making sure that the ocean is healthy and sustainable for past, present, and future generations. We've made that commitment. Now we just have to follow through with it.